let's take a close look at the different ways you have to track conversions in Stellar. You can track them based on element clicks or page visits. The recommended way we give you to track element clicks is by providing a query selector. So basically this is any valid CSS class. If you have an e-commerce store and all your add to cart buttons share an add to cart CSS class, you can provide it as a query selector and we'll be tracking every click to the add to cart, um, to any element containing the add to cart class as a conversion. For example, in this example landing page, I've got this main call to action called start speaking now. It has the um, ID of start speaking now. So it's very straightforward. Um, and I could provide this ID. This will be a valid query selector, of course. Let's say I want to have an array of elements which are counting um, as the same conversion. I could provide a comma separated list of valid CSS selectors. So perhaps I provide this start speaking now ID. And I also got this get started element, right? which has a get started ID and I can provide it here as well and call this um, conversion CTA clicks. A lazier way you have of um, targeting clicks on an element if you don't know the specific CSS selector for it is select manual select, provide the URL where the element lives, we'll take you to that URL spin up this sort of visual editor where you can uh, select an element. I'm going to select this H1, confirm element selection. And now my CTA clicks conversion is targeting the hero title element, which was recognized when I selected just now. Let's also go through the scenario where you want to provide the selector yourself. Um, and maybe the element you want to track, you are not sure which is the CSS selector for it. Well, a small tip we can give you is you can always go to the DevTools, right click, inspect, hover over the element you wish to target. Let's say we want to target this image and we don't have a clear ID for it. We'll just do right click, copy, copy selector. And now we can paste the selector here and we're targeting the image. This is a bit less recommended because look at how big and messy this selector is. It'll work, but it's always better if you can provide um, a specific ID that doesn't need to um, target so many elements down the HTML tree to get to where you want. The other way we have of tracking conversions is through page visits. A straightforward example for this are thank you page, page visits. Perhaps after each purchase on your e-commerce, you're taking your users to this page. And maybe you wanna add conditions to it. Maybe you expect, say, an order ID URL parameter to be there just to make sure the page visit is legit. You could do that by adding um, additional URL conditions. We'll call this conversion thank you page visits or maybe in other words this is just a successful purchase conversion, right? The cool thing about conversions is that um, you can always, once you've got them set up, you can add them to your experiment and track more than one. So you could track CS CTA clicks, but also successful purchase as a secondary conversion. Actually, you'll usually wanna track as a primary conversion, maybe the most valuable one. So in this case, successful purchase. But um, since this conversion might receive less data, you also wanna have an insight on the steps prior uh, in the funnel to a purchase, which might be uh, CTA clicks, right? So we allow you to track many uh, conversions. Always one primary, but as many as secondary conversions as you want.